their offense has found their guy in and we are underway from the young set rushing yards as a cards get a quick shot up and right off the bat it's the Syracuse transfer Chris Lincar they didn't rebound very well in the Bahamas so we'll have to see what they do today well Louisville's off to a pretty good start for the precautionary reasons they're waiting for Reasons in All-America on the roll. That's a nice speed to Brook Anya, who's coming off a career-high 15 points. Check out the starting five for Louisville again. Haley Van Lint out. Josie Williams starting for the third consecutive game. And Vanessa Robinson, their heart and soul, is in the starting lineup today. And now Louisville's got numbers. Davis is trailing. Hey, my name is Chandler, and a little thing I love about the Chick-fil-A paper Williams and takes a three. Is the and Williams. This is how you want to start a game. Williams hit the first three. There she is again, getting the back tip. One of the She's best defenders in the country. Such an important player for this team. And a three-tailed by Chris Lindgar. Chris Lindgar is going to get the ball back. Chris Lindgar is going to get the ball back. Chris Lindgar is going to get the ball back. Chris Lindgar is going to get the ball back. The cards are on fire. You know what? She's off to a great start, but that's one thing. Haley Van Lith is out. It was nice to see because, especially in the Bahamas, you know they were they, they were they were the ones getting charged calls on them. Chris Lee Carr again. She is so good on the defensive end, and honestly, she showed a lot of improvement off the off the offensive end as well. Yeah, having the best offensive stretch of her career. You know, shoot the shots that she works on every day in practice. Spinning and scoring. Nice move. We talked about her footwork earlier. Louisville played defense for 30 seconds. No quick shots. You know, because quick shots lead to rebounds, lead to easy layups. So I would make them play defense for as long as they can. Deflection and another steal. Leroy to Hartley ahead of the pack. And rejected. That was Harris getting back in transition. It's not a glamorous role. Hustling. Defense rebounds, but that's what she had to do to get out there and accepting her role. She's been great. He talks about Louisville not being a great executing team at the moment, um, at least these past few games. So transition was a big key of just pushing it. Post feed for Dixon, double come, shoots over the top. Offensive rebound, Kono, no look pass, and Harris finishes. Leading score for Longwood. That's just three points so far today. There's a three for Kono in the cards. <laughs> Baseline Jay there, off the mark. Now it's Verholst. She nails it. Turner, runner, misses. Now it's Carr in transit. Two on one. Carr, Jones, lays it home. Stepping up today with Haley Van Lith out. Deflection right to Turner though, and she bangs it in. Mid-range for Robinson. Williams with the size and the seal. Shot didn't go, Cochran there. Nice offensive rebounds there. You know, you still have to work on those guard handles because you don't want to have to get the rebound every time and pass it to your guard or find your guard. Just dribble it yourself. Didn't mind getting those rebounds. Olivia Cochran on the inside has become a force. 6.7 rebounds in the first half. Test their focus, their discipline, things that Jeff Walls has been harping on recently after a couple of losses in the Bahamas. And there's Adriana Ship Davis starting the second half, coming out with two. Louisville's been menacing defensively today. Kono hesitation. Steps through and lays it in. So beautiful and elegant. I mean, she's so shifty with the ball. Now Carr gets the deflection. Louisville a free possession and Harris lays it home. She makes it look so easy, but it's really not. Fading runner there from Williams and got it to bank home. Three ball from Turner. Off the back iron. Cochran running the floor. And rewarded for the layup. Way to run the floor. Longwood will take on Virginia Tech next. And of course, Louisville take on Ohio State next week. Cochran turns. Righty hook goes. Defensive pressure from Jones. 
Here's Germano, slicing through, lays it up, and gets the roll. Nice take. She got Olivia Cochran off her feet. Again, it's kind of a judgment call sometimes, how tight you do want to call it, as Jones sets it in. Yeah, but that's one of the, those things the refs called it in the beginning. Exactly, and she's a veteran player. She's been here for a couple of years now, so she knows what to do. That's a pretty looking J from Morgan Jones. Prepare his team by playing the non-conference schedule, kind of mimic the ACC games, mimic the NCAA first two rounds of the tournament. Nice move by Morgan Jones. Like it's zero to zero. They've had some good stretches, but Louisville's on fire right now. And Carr keeps it going. You know, ball movement creates open shots, getting, driving to the lane and kicking out for easy threes instead of them having to work for it. I guess it was the emphasis um, in the ref scouting report today on the two teams. Verholz through the press break, lays it in. Chip Davis takes the long three and drills it. Banks one in the first half. Jones taking a team high 12 shots today. Kept that ball in the right hand all the way to the rack. Peyton Verholtz getting in the passing lane. And one. Intercepted by Anya. They saw that post feed the whole way, but Russell saw that pass the whole way. And this game just shows how, how deep and how versatile all of the players are. I mean, they're playing without their best player. Carr's got five threes meanwhile. <laughs> I'm going to go with Notre Dame. They've just been a really good team mm, for a long time. That's a good one, too. So maybe it was an efficient game, both yeah. teams shooting really well, and they got edged out in a high-scoring game. What was the date, Bobby? No November 29, 2008. So, a while ago. I think I was in fourth grade. Some losses are hard to get over, aren't they? You know, they are. Here's Verholz spinning and scoring. Peyton Verholz has been silky smooth here in the fourth. Still working on the landing. <laughs> Verholz, another wide open two. She has got 16 points. I guarantee you after those few losses in the Bahamas, they had a team meeting um, to kind of figure out where they are. Nice Chip shot. Davis. <laughs> Again. Just over three to play. Kono outside Russell. Got it. And she was not going to miss two in a row. He motivates his players and always finds a way. Russell for a hundred. Fans were begging them to take a three. Point one on the clock. Now we're final. Jeff Walls wanted consistent effort from his team, and he definitely got it today, Jeff.